When Blake Snell flipped the switch back in May, he flipped it for the long run. After struggling through the first 10 starts of the season, Snell has been the best pitcher in baseball from that point forward. Snell has now thrown 12 quality starts in a row and has given up one run or less in 11 of those starts, the other being a two-run outing against the Pirates in which he only gave up three hits and struck out 10 batters. Over the last 10 weeks in which Snell has thrown 69 innings, he's given up only six runs in this time, which comes out to a .78 ERA over a 10-week period, which has Cy Young Award written all over it. Going at least five innings in each start, the Padres have been in a position to win every one of Snell's starts over the last 10 weeks, but the Padres have somehow managed to only win seven of these games. This is of course the exact reason why wins don't mean that much to pitchers, and should not be considered when it comes to award season. While Snell's walk numbers have been extremely high in July, racking up 22 over 27 innings pitched, teams are simply not able to capitalize with runners on base. Across the entire season, opposing batters are hitting just 152 against Snell with runners in scoring position, with an OPS of only 500. This is including his first 10 starts of the season as well, so I can't imagine how insane these numbers must be if we're just talking about his last dozen starts. If I had to pick a Cy Young winner, Snell is at the top of my list. He's been completely untouchable for months, and back to leading baseball with an ERA of 2.61 just like he did in 2019 when he took home the award. Connor Joe, 70th pitch coming up for Snell. And a swing and a miss, he struck out Connor Joe. He went around and strikes out. Pirates gonna leave him loaded. Snell's out of it yet again. Pitches his way around two. Back. Here is Santana, walking a bounce out. Here's a grounder to shortstop. Bogarts will get a second for one. On to first, it's late. And they get the lead runner on the force out at second base for the first out here in the sixth inning. Back to Snell. He will go to second for one. There'll be no throw to first. Five walks allowed, but only two hits allowed. And it is back up the middle. There is Kim. He'll go to first, and that is that. Blake Snell out of another jam. Walks two in the inning. Five and a half.